This video, we will be doing VQ interaction with customers. And if you want to help this channel and the content that we make, and please help support our merchandise, our Patreon, our Discord, and our Twitter. All links are in the description. And if you didn't hit that like button, make sure you hit that like button. We're trying to get the channel to grow on what we're going to do this. If you like, share, and comment on the content. So without further ado, let's get in the V. Let's go. Chi Chi, get the Yayo. Get the Yayo. Tae Young messed up his first encounter with customers, and it's totally worth it. Let's stop in. This is a movie. Huh? They speak English. I don't speak Spanish. So because of the awkward first interactions he had with the customers, V started getting nervous when he has to interact with customers. If you watch his closely throughout recent Ginny's Kitchen episodes, he didn't come out from the kitchen too often. One time, when V had to open the restaurant, he wasn't prepared to greet the customers, so he awkwardly smiled. Xiao Jin slowly greets them improperly. And when the staff interact with a group of customers at the end of the night, V can be seen awkwardly standing looking around, but because of how friendly they were, plus they complimented the chicken, V started to become happy, and this happens. Chef. Yeah, oh, thank, <laughs> thank you, the thank chicken. you. The chicken, the chicken, oh. chicken, oh. chicken. It's made. Thank you, thank you. Before V arrived at Bacalar, he has done some self-study, learning on some useful Spanish sentences to help him communicate better with the customers. One time, V guide Wu Shik to use the sentence "Necesita mandil." which translate to English means, do you need an apron? Wushik did his best, but in the end, the local taught them how to say it correctly. V is known for his bubbly personality that lights up any room he walks into. He is always looking for ways to make those around him smile. One time, when Wushik and Seo Jun failed to make a baby smile, V came to the rescue. <laughs> when the big bear makes the baby bear happy, so lovely. That wasn't the first time V made a baby smile. When Jungkook, Jin, and J-Hope encounter a crying baby on the set, this happened. Okay, that's how you cheer him up. <laughs> Mission failed! So who it's came crazy. to the rescue? It was V. V money. Hey, <laughs> Even though the girl was shy to say hello back to V, this moment was so adorable because of how excited he was when he sees her. This is a comparison of V when he deals with adult customers compared to children customers. On the first clip, V was serious and professional delivering the order to the customers. But on the second clip, V was in a relaxed manner. <laughs> Aside from V moments with the kids, he also has some moments with Pero, the dog who kept visited Ginny's restaurant. Because of the hot weather in Bacalar, Young noticed that Pero start liking it when he started fanning him with a piece of paper. Later, Wushik joined and it was game over for him. <laughs> Did you like is that? <laughs> Look at her! Look at her! Look at her! <coughs> oh snap, that was funny. That's BTS. That guy is a member from BTS. What? Yeah. The guy that said is a member from BTS. You know the guy that is very 
This is probably the best reaction when someone saw V. Yeah. If there was an award for the best reaction of seeing V for the first time on Ginny's kitchen, she's definitely win. She even receives a thumbs up from V. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. But what happened when V became the customer? V decided to reward himself by doing some shopping. Some Even though Seo Jin asked him to only buy the ingredients for the restaurant. <laughs> because of the language barrier, V had to use the translation app, but it didn't help him. <laughs> But after some attempts, the shop owner finally understood what he said. V bought some shirts, but not for him alone, but for the whole crew. They even wore it together in one episode. On episode one, V was scolded for not wearing the proper uniform. But for one day, Seo Jin decided to dismiss the strict uniform code that had been in place before. Anything that V wishes for will be granted. This wasn't an interaction between V and a customer but rather a customer who adores V, but was too shy to greet him. She even shares a personal story. Her husband needs to work harder to receive love from her. Anyway, she thought she would she never see happy. him in real life. But then, her wish came true, Damn. and she finally saw him. Even though it was a couple of meters away, she probably belongs to the 5% of V fans who managed to see him in real life. Facts. And not as an idol, but as an intern frying chicken. Lucky... When Seo Jin was about to clean the table, he noticed a piece of paper, and then later the asked Wu Shik to hand it to V. The paper was from a little girl who visited with her family. Written on the paper was, I love so much, Kim Tae Hyung, with heart emoji. Upon receiving the paper, V can't help to be flustered by it. <laughs> Never judge the book by its cover is the best lesson for the next clip. Because if you're in another country, it doesn't mean that all the people are local people. Sometimes they are foreigner, so it's better to use English. I don't speak Spanish. Sorry. But we, but we understand. Yes. yes, it is. Yes, Thank, you. Really nice. Thank you. <laughs> that wasn't the end, because they acknowledge how popular V and complimented the staff of Ginny's Kitchen for being really good looking. Even people who's not into K pop know that V is an all star. Hey now, you're an all -star. Get your game on. He was tired, and the boss wanted to buy some burritos for them. But before that happens, does the burrito contain Dang, cilantro no. or not? Because V only eat burrito without cilantro, and that's what Yumi did for V. Thank you. When they were back together for the reunion four months after the show ended, the chemistry between V and Seo Jin still remains the same as before. <laughs> There's nothing more satisfying than watching V interacts with Seojin. Ooh, he wasn't meant to ignore Wu Shik in the first place. He was about to help Wu Shik, but others kept calling him for help. When V noticed that, he came up with a plan to do a little bit of trolling. Seo Jin can't help but join in because it's too good to let the moment go. That was probably the only moment the boss joined in on V shenanigans because he was always serious about running the business. But V has been making the boss laughing from the first day, when he had no idea on how to wear the face mask. He unintentionally got himself in a funny situation. Yeah. Talk, talk here. Ah. Yeah. You put it on your face guard. Thanks for watching. Trey TV. Let's get it.
<laughs> this is Lamar Wilson here representing Ghetto Action News Network underscore all lower cases. No spaces. And you can find us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Make sure you follow, like, subscribe, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Let me get right down to this. This this was a uh, very interesting facts <laughs> to see uh, Tay Young uh, and acting as a normal person. Yeah. Well, trying to. Yeah. <laughs> and to realize they're really that well known. Yeah. Facts. That they couldn't even really pull it off. Yeah. There was always one, at least one at a table or two that was like, hold on. They know who he was. Yeah, and I think that was cool seeing uh, the girl get up and just be like, are you? And just seeing it happen, man. And then, them to try to play back and and be low key was pretty cool too. So I, I think this was a fun episode and uh, I wouldn't mind watching another one, what do you think? Yeah, I think it was cool. Uh, just like you said, how everybody was just uh, noticing V. Um, and I just know it's a lot of pressure out in this world when you go everywhere and everyone knows you. I like just going outside. Nobody don't really know who I am. I get to move. I want to go where I want to go. But um, just seeing this was dope um, to see that the fans do appreciate the work that he put in. Um, and he is so well known. And I thought that was dope. And I like how they do stuff like this. They thought of all these cool ways to make content with these guys. And I thought this was a, another um, dope way that they did that. And I liked it. And it looks like they broke it up into clips like this is like a series that they kind of broke up into clips to make mm -hmm. this right here so I actually want to check out the episodes um, and see what it's about because I did enjoy this and thought it was uh, pretty funny and if you want to help this channel and the content that we're making please help support our merchandise on Patreon our Discord and our Twitter all links are in the description it's your boy Trey TV and I'm out